Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is lukewarm churches. I always hear words that people condemn the churches. But the churches have their time and have their reason why they are there. If you are in a lukewarm church and if you have the feeling from the Holy Spirit you should go out of it, then do that, by no means. But we are not here to condemn the churches. Has Jesus not said, anybody who is against my enemy is my friend and who is doing my work, we should leave him in peace? That's the same with the churches. I always say come out of the lukewarm churches because they will feed you with false doctrines. But I'm not condemning the churches. Who am I to condemn the churches? <coughs> Sorry. Who do a good work for the Lord. Who are winning souls. Let us always re remain humble and stay humble. And not take our ministries above others. Lukewarm churches, if you're feeling bad in your church, come out of her. If you know that you are fed wrong doctrines, come out of her. But to condemn churches like other movements are doing, that is totally wrong. We are all working for the heavenly kingdom, in one way or the other. And no movement by itself can claim that they have all the knowledge and wisdom. So let us always stay humble and equal. Talk to the Lord, talk to the Holy Spirit about your church. If you have a funny feeling during the church services and if you see something that you do not like, then by all means come out. That does not stop you from joining, for example, another movement like Triple Grace, where we are coming together as the first Christians. But we are separating out also ourselves from such movements who are shouting in the streets, fighting with people over doctrines shouting from the rooftops, claiming that this and that must be done so that you are saved. All that is not true. And all such movement who are saying, oh, then you, everybody will cast out demons and everybody will, will do miracles. Also, that is not true. That is not sound doctrine. These people who are claiming that they are representing the churches from the, from the book of Acts, are forgetting that the churches or the assemblies in the book of Acts were a church under tribulation. And that's the reason why they came together and why they shared resources and why they supported one another. Because they were a church in tribulation. And not a church that was running through the streets and shouting to all the people, Oh, Jesus is coming, Jesus. No, they didn't do that. They went to the house and the Lord said, bless the house and if he returns the blessing, then you go and preach. And if not, then leave it alone. That is totally different from what some of this funny movement that you see now, the street preachers, they use fountains in the road to baptize people. All this is fake, fake doctrines, all of them. They are not better than the lukewarm churches. You have to understand, if you come together in love, unity and support, then we come together because the time will come of Antichrist. And that means we will be a church or an assembly in tribulation. And if we are in tribulation, then we are definitely not somebody who stands in the road and shout. Because if you do that and you are not one of the two witnesses, then the Antichrist will come and take you down. For some it might be the fulfillment of their dreams, if they can stand in the street and shout and then the Antichrist forces will come and murder him. That might be his fulfillment of his dreams. But this is not what the Lord wants from you. He wants that you come together, all the followers of the past, share resources and support one another because he wants to see you alive at Mount Zion, where you will be raptured into paradise. I had a very, very beautiful vision from the Lord this morning and I made a video about it. So please watch it. It shows you clearly what will happen. 
and how we will overcome it. It is not a time to stand on the rooftop and shout, especially not when Antichrist is there. Then we are an assembly and we are churches in tribulation and maybe in hiding. But we will always keep the face and miracles and wonders will follow us. But not everybody will go and cast out demons and not everybody will go and do miracles. Only to him it is given. So let us always stay, my dear brothers and sisters, humble in the word of the Lord. And do not shout on the rooftops to elevate ourselves and to make movements that are known to the people. Because if the world will know it, Antichrist will know it. And then you will be taken down and your movement is gone with the wind. So better we come together in places where we live. And we come together and we worship the Lord. And then we go into our neighborhoods and show forth the love of the Father. But in humility, as humble people, and in equality, as equal followers of the past. Not that somebody lifts him, himself up and denounces others and shout unto others and fight with others. There is no need for that. We are all working for the heavenly kingdom. One better than the other, but that is to decide by the Lord. He will look in our hearts and not to decide by human, by man, by man's opinion. So please, people, do not denounce the churches in general. If you have a feeling you have a lukewarm church and you are not okay there, then come out. But the churches have their part to play. And they played their part for a long time. That they are now falling away, that's because the church age is coming to an end. And something new will be established. But now when the church age comes to an end, then we are going into tribulation. The sealed tribulation will start. And we will become assemblies in tribulation. Some places in hiding and somewhere we have to lay low. We don't have to expose ourselves. Because if we expose ourselves, we will be taken down. Who will then win souls if our movement is taken down by Antichrist? Then Satan will win and that we can never allow. We can never allow that the devil will win. So stay humble, but stay together in love, unity and support for all to see. But not in that way that you will be taken down. And not in that way that you start to fight. And not in that way you say, oh, something before was bad and now we will make it better. How do you know that? Who has given you that knowledge? Only your pride has given you that knowledge. But you have to stay humble. Thank you that you have listened to this message. It was lying on my heart to say that we all should come together. And also, we should not tolerate everything. and We should never say that good is evil and evil is good. We still have to come together and love unity and support. And follow the only true path in the middle. What is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? Only through Him we will reach the Father. Only through Him we will reach the rapture. And only through Him we will go into paradise. Thank you that you have listened to this special word. Please watch the vision that the Lord has given me this morning. Maybe God bless you and your family abundantly, and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.